No, if you're in a situation where you have great relationships with those former friends, but they're in a different city, they're in a different phase of life. You know, they're, they're parents now, or they move back home to support their family and you're not in the same location. How do you spark new friendships? How do you create new connections? I always recommend you start looking at what are your current interests, passions, hobbies, pursuits, or that mission that Johnny's talked about. What is it now for you? What are those activities that light you up, that you're excited to do, that you're looking forward to? Maybe when the snow thaws, it's mountain biking. Maybe it's that surf trip that you've been meaning to take. What are those passions, hobbies, pursuits that light you up? And how do we combine socializing with them? How do we seek out people who enjoy those exact same things as us? Whether it's exercise and CrossFit, whether it's a dance class, whether it's cooking, how do we find those activities, those passions and hobbies that may have fallen to the wayside that maybe for various reasons we eh, said, I'll do it next time, I'll do it later. Oh, I've been meaning to do that, but didn't actually take that step to do. And how do we engage with other people who share those exact same hobbies, interests, passions, and pursuits? So the important thing here, AJ, is the, the social component. Like when we talk about hobbies and passions and missions, Sitting at home and coding a video game by yourself might be a passion that you enjoy and a mission you want to be on, but it's probably not going to help you build that social circle, which is not to say you shouldn't be sitting at home coding video games if that's your passion. However, you also need to think about bringing other activities into your life to bring those social opportunities your way. So in understanding this, the antidote to all of this is replacement friends a strategy and framework to build out your network. Replacement friends are one aspect of this, but your network is going to get you your next job. It's going to help you move up the ladder. It's going to help you create that new business. It is going to support and inspire and motivate you to do all the things that you've been wanting to do. The reason you haven't been doing them is because the motivation and inspiration and aspiration was lacking. You have to find that because as we've stated, everything around you is working to atomize you and to get you comfortable sitting at home. But you know as well as we do that sitting at home and staring at the ceiling when uh, at late at night when you're going to bed, knowing that you're leaving points on the field, that you're not living a fulfilling life is the issue. So when our members uh, join the X Factor, it's about the frameworks and strategies to begin building a life worth fighting for. That is where your fulfillment comes in. You can think of this connect phase as your lead source, right? In our social sales funnel, there's three steps here. So what are all the places that you can get leads? You have your already established connections and you might need to outreach and rebuild some of those. And then what are the sources that we're gonna bring in our new leads. So this will be going out to a, a events, meeting new people, making connections that you've met online to connect in real life. Make a list of what your lead sources are and how you're going to build them out and get more engaged. 